my top fashion finds for 2018. And I've talked about it a lot on Instagram, is like a mega favorite, it's a little bit newer, and I don't think I've talked about it here at all. You look stupid. It looks like you're wearing a tail or something flopping behind you. Super wide leg, cropped pants, bathing suits. And you have to untackle it and then rotate it. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie. This is my favorite finds of 2018. So this year I'm taking a slightly different approach to sharing my favorite finds with you. Last year when I did this, I did my top 10 fashion finds of the year and then my bottom fashion finds of the year, which were like things I bought that I thought I would wear and I didn't. Um, so that was interesting. If you didn't see that, I'll link that below because some of those fashion favorites are still my favorites today. So last year, I also did a top 10 favorite finds of everything beauty, lifestyle, fashion, all into one. So this year, what I decided to do was I just kind of made up my top 10 list that I've been keeping in my phone for the last couple of months now. And it was a combination of clothes and lifestyle things, beauty things. And then I was like, oh, but I also love this, this, and this. And so it became like 15 to 20 things. And then I realized pretty quickly that I should just separate it out into my top 10 fashion finds and my top 10 like beauty and lifestyle finds. So this video is going to be specifically fashion finds. And then my next video will be my top 10 everything else. So the interesting thing, I'm looking over here because that's where they're all at, um, is that some of my things on my list, I don't even think I've shared yet because I've been bad towards the end of the year with sharing haul videos and I think I'm trying to shop less. But I guess the good news here is that I actually don't even have 10 bottom finds to share with you because I started thinking of it like I did last year's video and I was like, I don't even think I have 10 things that I didn't like or that I didn't wear. I feel like I really wore everything that I bought and I really thought about it differently um, because after I did that video, it really, brought light to, wow, there's a lot of things I didn't wear and I want to wear and love and think more intentionally about what I bring into my home and my wardrobe. And I feel like I did that because I can't think of 10 things that I didn't like. Okay, so let's get into my top fashion finds for 2018. So I'll start by saying that this really isn't in any specific order, like favorite to least favorite. Last year when I did this, my old navy tank top was my favorite thing ever and that was very obvious to me that that was number one nothing felt super obvious as being like one or ten in this list so i'm just sharing with you as i pick them out of the pile basically so the first thing i actually did haul in a video so you might have seen it but it's this black urban outfitters wrap dress i think i did get this more towards the beginning of the year because i think i wore it on a trip to florida in february i want to say you can dress it up you can dress it down it's a beautiful like linen material almost it has really big deep pockets i've also worn it opened or a little bit loose over jeans i'm very into wearing dresses over jeans and so this is great for that wrap dresses are just such an easy bet for most body types but also for most body moments you know like sometimes you go on vacation and you get bloated from the airplane or you're eating a bunch of food you normally wouldn't eat and so something like a wrap dress is just such a sure bet to take with you i just have really loved this i've gotten so much use out of it that in fact uh last month i bought it in white which i haven't shared with you and it's super wrinkled because it's fresh out of the box um, still has the tag on it. The original price on this is $79, but this was on sale for $19. I have it in a size medium. Um, if it is still available, I bought this just a month ago. I'll link it down below. Again, I don't know if I can say this is my second favorite thing of the year, uh, but it's definitely a favorite find of the year and it goes very well with the dress. I shared it as a favorite here in the fall, I think, and I've talked about it a lot on Instagram, but I joke about it that it's my training bra. <laughs> and the reason that I love this so much, if you haven't seen me talk about this before, and it's a very specific one that I will get into in a minute because I've owned many different styles of these, something like a wrap dress or even something like um, a tank top in the summer, I always tend to want to wear a camisole underneath it so that if something's really low cut, like that wrap dress or something, you know, sometimes a wrap dress can get loose over the time that you're wearing it. Um, I don't feel comfortable just wearing a bra underneath it. And so I usually wear a camisole. Well, the problem with that is if you're wearing a camisole, now it's low and you can sometimes see that material with a wrap dress. It just feels like more added bulk. 
um, especially in the summer when you're wearing a bra, then a camisole, then a dress or a tank top. And so this is like removing the middle guy. It's like just this and then whatever else you're wearing. This specific one, which is my favorite that I have found, is from Gilligan and O'Malley, which is a Target brand. They still have them. I think I now own three or four of these in white. There's a subtle cup. Um, but it's sewn in. So when you go to wash this, you don't end up with the cups either coming out altogether. So you don't have to go in there and like adjust it. You know, sometimes you go to put it on and the pad in there is like a taco and you have to untaco it and then rotate it. And it's so annoying. I hate it. I have so many of these. It really truly is a favorite. Okay, so the next thing is like a mega favorite and I have talked about it here before, but it's my super wide leg cropped pants from Anthropology, they're a little bit wrinkled <laughs> and they were like hanging over my uh, hamper. If you can't tell, they're a beautiful deep emerald green. I bought them from Anthropology towards like the end of summer, I wanna say, and I've just loved them so much. Last year, I also had a wide leg cropped black pant from Anthropology that was also a favorite. And this is just a favorite style for me. I get so much use out of this in the summer with just a simple tank top but I also dress this up. I've worn it recently with a sock booty and a turtleneck shirt with a tank top over it. Made it kind of festive and holiday. And I just love it. It's just so comfortable. I love a flowy wide leg pant. Definitely a huge favorite and I will continue to get more use out of them. So the next couple of things are a little bit newer and I don't think I've talked about here at all. I've talked about them on Instagram, but I haven't shared them in a video here. So the first thing is if you've heard of the famous Amazon puffer coat. I'd been looking for a black puffer coat since last year. I wanted something with a little bit more detail and edge and just like a little bit more style into it. And this was completely perfect. It's such a great coat. I'm so excited that I have it. I can't believe that it was only $99 to be quite honest with you. So the brand is or Orale. I wanna say. First of all, there's so much detail on this coat that's really kind of fun. The hood is, is not detachable, which I thought would be annoying, but it actually, is comfortable and cozy and it just feels like you're wearing a duvet out and I love that. Um, sometimes the, the hood actually gets a little inverted when I wear it and I actually like it because it just looks like a different element to it. But it has this big collar um, along with the hood which just gives like an extra detail which is kind of nice. Now in this black one, I'll put the other colors up. In this black one, you can't see the details as much because everything is black, but if you get any other color, so this ribbon and the zipper detail on the other coats really pops, which is nice. So one of my favorite things about this coat, other than just the overall style I love, is the fit. Sometimes for someone like me who has thicker thighs and hips and butt, things don't zip up sometimes or I feel like a sausage in a coat even like a big puffer coat I go to zip it and it's like why am I feel like I'm waddling now so I love that for one this has the style where the back is just a little bit longer than the front right there which is nice so it's sort of like a step in the back um, but it has this zipper which is a functioning zipper that gives you a panel where it opens and it goes almost up to the armpit so it gives you a couple more inches and I'll tell you, if I zip them all the way down, it feels snug. And so when I unzip them halfway on both sides, it feels like I can breathe and it's roomier and I just really love it. Now, when I bought the coat, I was like, okay, I love the coat, I love the style, I love the fit. Is this gonna be warm enough? It's down, I'm not sure what kind of down it is to be honest with you, but the ultimate test was the week before Thanksgiving, my husband and I went to Chicago and it was snowing a little bit. We walked around the city for a whole entire day outside. It was like a 10 mile walk once we'd looked at my husband's um, Apple Watch. We, I stayed warm the whole entire time. And the other great thing is that I didn't even bring a handbag with me because the pockets are so big and they're such nice pockets, love it. Great purchase. Okay, let's keep on with the theme of coats. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, this is something I haven't talked about on YouTube, but you might know there's been a long saga and journey of me finding the perfect wool long coat. I can remember last year after the Nordstrom anniversary sale, I can remember saying, I really wanna find a long navy wool coat. And in fact, it's really hard to find long coat. When you search long coat on the internet, it's basically like knee length, which I'm sorry, there's a lot of long sweaters and I like wearing dresses over pants. And if you have dresses over pants and you wear that with a 
short coat that ends at your knees, you look stupid. It looks like you're wearing a tail or something flapping behind you. Same for like a sweater that's a little bit longer or a sweater duster that's really long. So I was on the hunt for a jacket that would suit my wardrobe and allow for long things to be worn with it. I thought I wanted a long navy coat. This ended up being perfect. I found it on Zara and it's a long olive green coat, which actually I think I prefer more than navy. I think I just wasn't thinking about a long olive green coat. So unfortunately, if I ever take a photo of this, it kind of looks like black in photos and it might look black here, but it's long olive green and I wanted double breasted. That was also the important feature of the coat was that I wanted it to be double breasted. So this is great. I love it so much. I love that the lapel is oversized. I love that it's double breasted. I kind of wish that there was one more button because I prefer when there's four. I love that there's this detail on the sleeve. Um, so it's all those little things that just sort of make a really basic coat look a little bit more special and I just really like that. Okay, so I know that I just talked about a lot of coats and some winter things and it is winter right now, but you know what it also was this year? Summer, summer happened and you know what I bought a lot of that I had to stop and really think? Bathing suits. I got so many bathing suits this year and I don't think I've talked about them on YouTube at all, um, but I went down the deep dive of cup she bathing suits. Here's the story. I've seen it come up time and time again and I'm like, what is the deal with these $20 bathing suits? Are they worth it? What's the story? And I'd considered buying for a long time, had heard awful things from people about that the bathing suits are great, but the customer service through cup she is horrible and you can't return anything. So this past February when I was in Florida, I was at a pool and I saw a girl wearing a cup she bathing suit. So I went up to her and was like, excuse me, is that a cup she bathing suit? And she was like, it is. And we proceeded to have a 15 minute conversation about how impressed she was with the quality, the fit. I was impressed that she was someone who body wise kind of looked like me, although she was a much bustier girl. And so I was really impressed that even the particular style of bathing suit that it was, it looked so good on her. The quality looked great, the color was beautiful. She loved it and she was like, oh my gosh, my, my friends started buying Cup She bathing suits. I now have four. I got home, started looking at Cup She bathing suits on Amazon. And there's actually a lot of Cup She bathing suits on Amazon. I, so the first one that I bought was the bathing suit that I saw from the girl in Florida. I bought that one. So the next one that I bought is this two piece, which is interesting because it's not really a pattern that I would necessarily love, like this tropical print with like pineapples on it. It's not, not something I would normally be attracted to, but I bought it. It had a high waist striped bottom, but I happen to love the look of it and the fit of it. It's got a little peplum style, so it's just super attractive. This one I have worn a lot. It's actually a one piece. It's just super attractive and I always feel great in it. It's kind of a low, low plunging neckline. Um, it's got this little ruffle right here, this little like seed through bit right there, which sort of like pulls your waist in. And then the back of this one has like a thicker clasp around the back. I also have a friend of mine who ordered this bathing suit and couldn't return it to Cupshe's website. So she gave it to me, bless her heart. I have not worn it yet. It's really cute on and it fits me great. It's more of like a I'm laying out type of bathing suit, but it's just this one shoulder with this big ruffle. And then the back has like a little open hole in the back but it's really cute on and again, super affordable. And then I did buy another one. It's still in the bag. Um, I've tried it on and it fits, but it's just towards the end of the summer, so I haven't worn it yet. It's this cute two piece that has like a scallop edge at the top and around the back. And then the high waist bottoms, which are also scalloped around here. So really super simple, but really cute. So I'm excited to wear this next year. So my favorite find is just the cup she bathing suits in general. If you haven't checked them out on Amazon, I absolutely would. Okay, on to a handbag. So earlier in the year, I purchased this, which needs to be washed. But this handbag I bought from Who What Wear at Target. Now I'm I don't think that this is available anymore because I bought this during the summer. But what I love about this, and I think you know, this is something great to look for um, if you're shopping for a handbag. And again, like this is a cheap handbag. I don't like expensive handbags. I'm not into designer handbags. Um, so, but this for being like 20 something bucks. Oh my gosh, I've worn this every single day, even now um, into winter. I'm still wearing it, and I'm like, you know what? I should probably switch this for another purse, which I'm going to do, and so I'm going to wash this. But 
What I've loved about this is that, first of all, there's two handle options. So I wear it crossbody a lot, but if I'm going out at night sometimes, you like to, or you're going something dressier, you can take this off or you can put it into the bag and it just becomes handheld. I also love that it's this natural material. So it's sort of this woven ropey material, which I feel like adds such an interesting texture to an outfit. Um, and it kind of goes with everything because it's this beige color. And also like the fringe is super cute and just adds like some movement and added texture and interest, which I think is great. It's also just such a great size because it fits my larger wallet and it. it fits like my 15 lipsticks that I almost always have in my purse at all times. Um, and just little things like that that I would need. But I mean, summer, fall, and even until now, <laughs> I've been wearing this like almost every single day. But I feel like this was a nice alternative, especially to the straw bags that we kept seeing everywhere. And I actually have a couple of straw bags that I bought um, or rattan style. It's just nice to have something that's a little bit different um, than that, but still just really easy for every day. Okay, we're getting closer to the end here. Three more things left. And another thing that I haven't shared here on YouTube, but I've talked about on Instagram, that I also bought in the Black Friday sales from Zara is this long sweater duster. Now, this reminds me very much of when I used to work for Contempo Casuals in the 90s. Um, long sweater dusters were all the rage then. And long sweater dusters, I mean, I think they've stayed in style, but I just haven't owned one, and I think I have not owned one because I have not had a coat long enough to support it. And I've been getting a lot of use out of this. I know it's a super basic black long cardigan. So I like to wear it like with a graphic tee underneath it with a pop of color or just a white tank top. Um, yeah, this is, I'm gonna get so much use out of this. I've worn it so much already. It's super soft. I have this in a medium, but the only problem I have with this one is that it picks up a ton of hair and lint and everything with it. And so it gets a little bit obnoxious. And I know that one of the things I'm gonna be looking for in 2019, because I'm currently on a no buy in December, so I'm not buying anything new right now, um, but I'm gonna be looking for a long sweater that's gray and just a little different material that not everything sticks to it. But just a nice like heathered gray, really long substantial cardigan is something that's on my list and I will be looking for in January. Okay, the final two things, and I've not talked about a shoe yet, can you even believe? Um, the final two things are shoes. And one of them I've talked about, one of them I have not. But the first thing's a little bit boring. I've talked about it before already, but it's a gym shoe. I do love the look of these, but they are also so comfortable. And I have really loved, I wear them, I would love to say five times a week. I wear them three or four times a week to the gym. I only wear them to the gym. I don't really wear them with like jeans. Um, or whatnot, you obviously could. So one thing that I always look for with sneakers is that they don't have a separate tongue because I have found in the past that they're too bulky, they slide over, they bother me. It looks like it's a little bit separated, but it actually um, attaches down there at the bottom of the shoe. So it's kind of all one piece. It doesn't slide around is the important thing, but it's this fly knit material. So it's super sock like. I just like the style of this, but these ones, I've absolutely loved, gotten tons of use out of. I'm so happy with my purchase and I will continue to wear them in the next year as well. And the final, final thing is really <laughs> kind of a random shoe. Um, I don't think I've talked about them here. Um, this was a complete impulse purchase at Nordstrom Rack. Um, I'd never heard of this brand before. I don't even know how to say it, so I'm not gonna attempt to. But for some reason, there was a decent amount of this brand at my Nordstrom Rack. And every time I came across it, it was like the cutest shoes. Oxford shoes are my favorite. And they had this exact silhouette um, in a patent leather black, a patent leather beige. And I stood there with these ones and those ones going like, oh my gosh, what one do I need? I could easily buy them all. And I just decided that this was a little bit more fun than the patent black. So I got these. This feels like it's, it's feathers or scales. It's sort of a gold and a black. I love that the heel is a little bit chunkier, this wood heel. Super comfortable for walking around because it's a low black heel, but it's a little bit dressier too. So I think it would also really look cute with a dress. I love menswear shoes and so it's perfect for me. I would wear it just with this too, with jeans. I don't know, I'm just curious to know more about this brand because I just loved everything that I was looking at and they're very comfortable, very well made. Um, just sort of a new find that I, I hadn't heard of before.
All right, so that's it. Those are my top 10 fashion finds of 2018. So like I said earlier, my next video will be my top 10 favorite beauty, lifestyle, and everything else. So stay tuned for that. And I hope everyone is having a great holiday season and I will see you again in another video real soon. Bye.